Hey guys, how are you? So I wanted to address something that you see out there with regards to the hustle culture, the uh, entrepreneur culture out there. Now, let me put it simply. If you don't have valuable skills, if you're hustling with very basic skills like selling on Amazon or doing copywriting or doing basic video edits, you're just grinding. You're not really maximizing value. I'm all for being an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur my entire life, except when I was, well, the last job I had working for somebody, I was a bouncer in a nightclub. But you have to have some value. You have to bring something to the plate. Otherwise, you're just going to be grinding away uh, with little return. You'd be better off working for somebody. So the first thing you have to do before you go out there and start hustling is you got to develop some valuable skill sets. Valuable skill sets are not built in two, day, in two days or taking one course. You have to build up to it. You have to work your way towards a particular uh, goal. You have to work your way into a skill that has a value in the marketplace. Then you can start hustling and start building a business because you have something of value to offer. That's the key point. So when people are offering you the um, training on be, how to be an entrepreneur and they're teaching you and they're telling you to use low rent, uh, low value services to build your entrepreneurial business, that's crazy. Unless you're a, a natural seller, you're going to have uh, a hard time making a good return for your time. Again, in full disclosure, I do offer a mentoring program, but the big difference between what I do and so many others out there is I start you off with a highly valued skill set. You have to develop something that is valuable, that has a barrier to entry, that people are willing to pay money for. And the easiest that I know of is coder developer. So you have to start there. You have to start with building your skills. One of the things that younger people will try to do, and I've been there, is you want to try to jump ahead. You want to try and find the cheat code to uh, jump ahead and uh, make all kinds of money. The cheat code really is first building up your skill sets so that you become extremely valuable. When you become extremely valuable, then people are willing to pay for your time. Later on, when you develop extremely valuable skill sets and a whole bunch of things, technical skills, communication skills, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, then you can start leveraging those skills and start getting into the passive income situation, start building a business that is an engine for money making where you don't necessarily have to sell your time. But the first level is to develop a super valuable skill set and start selling your time for multiples, what the average person will sell their time for. And then you're going to build up. I think that the ship has sailed with regards to these low rent skills that people are saying they're going to use, teach you to use to make a lot of money. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, look at what people are teaching you and look at what they did to make their money. So for example, with me, I teach people how to code, how to invest, how to freelance. These are all the things that I did to build up myself financially. The educational aspect of it is kind of at the tail end of my career, really. I did not make my money doing what I do now. I made my money doing what I teach people to do. So you have to look at any course sellers and say, okay, how did they make their money? If they're selling you courses on development, did they make their money as developers or they just jumped into selling courses? Or if they're selling you marketing programs to build a business of, of a certain type, whatever it is, did they make their money building that type of business or are they making their money just selling you a marketing program? Now, what you're going to see, unfortunately, a lot of times these people out there, they did not make their money doing what they expect you to do. Meaning they're teaching you to do A, but they didn't make their money doing A. They made their money doing B, right? So that to me is a cause for concern. Anyway, I hope this makes sense to you. 
My name is Steph, some people call me Uncle Steph. I'm a mentor. One of the things that makes me different from so many people out there is I actually have a product that people use. I have a product called Studio Web. It's used by all kinds of schools and districts around North America, in fact, different parts of the world. It's been around for over 10 years, and it's still around. And so I actually have a viable business based on what I am teaching you that's being used today by government and quasi-government and private institutions. So, proof's in the pudding, right?